Hi, this is Liz Sneddon. Today we're going to look at probability and we're looking at a tree diagram and this is the example of car registrations and warrants. So let's have a look at the problem. So a policeman is checking cars at a roadblock and he's looking for warrants and registrations. So he finds that 7% of the cars are unregistered and then when he knows if a car is unregistered then there's a 23% chance that it would have no warrant of fitness. But if a car is registered, then there is a 5% chance that it would have no warrant of fitness. Okay, so we want to set this up and make a tree diagram out of this. So we think about the two events that are occurring. There's two things we've got probabilities about. One event is about whether the car is registered or not, and the other is about whether there's a warrant of fitness in the car or not. So those are the two layers of my tree diagram. And so this is what we want to do. So the first layer, if you like, is about whether or not the car is registered. So we've got registered or not registered. The second layer of the tree is about whether or not the car has a warrant of fitness. Okay, so those are our layers. Now we want to go and put that information onto this. So we're told, first of all, 7% of cars are unregistered. Okay, let's put that on. So 7% are unregistered. So that's down here. Now remember 7%, if I turn that into a decimal, would be 0 0.07. Then if we've got 7% unregistered, that means the percentage of registered cars is the opposite, mutually exclusive. So that's 93% or 0 0.93. Okay, that's that first piece of information dealt with. Now we're told if the car is unregistered, okay, so if it is unregistered, so that's talking about if it's going down this pathway here, if it's unregistered, then there's a 23% chance that it has no warrant. Okay, so that would mean that there, the chance of no warrant is 23%. The opposite of 23% is 77%. So there's a 77% chance that it has a warrant even if it's unregistered. Okay, that's that piece of information dealt with. Now the next one, if a car is registered, there's a 5% chance of no warrant. So if it's registered, so that's talking about going down this branch, if it's registered, then there is a 5% chance it has no warrant. So that's referring to that part. So that means that is 0 0.05, and the opposite of that is 95% chance that it does have a warrant. So there's the first part of the tree. Now let's work out our probabilities. So the first one is I can look at registered and warranted. Okay, so that's our first combination. So, oh, wrong color. We want the probability of the car being registered and warranted. And we're going to multiply that out, 0 0.093, oh, 0 0.93 times 0 0.95, and that will give us 0 0.8835. Now we want to look at the next combination. So a car can be registered and not have a warrant. So we're going to multiply those two probabilities. So that's going to be probability of registered but no warrant. So that little dash, remember, means no warrant. And that is 0 0.93 times 0 0.05. And that gives us a probability of 0 0.0465. Third combination is if the car is not registered but does have a warrant. So we're going to multiply those two numbers together. So probability of no registration but it does have a warrant is 0 0.07 times 0 0.77 to give us a value of 0 0.0539 and lastly the chance that we've got a not registered car and no warrant I'm going to multiply those two values together so we're going to have probability of no registration and no warrant so that is 0 0.07 times 0 0.23, 
which will give us a value of 0 0.0161. So there we have our tree set up. Now that we've got that set up, now we can look at the actual questions that we need to answer. So here's our first question. Calculate the percentage of cars that are not registered and have no warrant of fitness. So not registered and no warrant. So that means I want the probability of not registered and not warranted. So I can read that one straight off the diagram, 0 0.0161, so there it is. But it did say find the percentage, so I need to turn that into a percentage, multiply that by 100, and that will give us 1.61%. Next question, if he checked 500 cars in a week, how many cars would he expect to find with neither registration nor a warrant of fitness? So let's think about the important information in this. We've got 500 cars, okay, 500 cars, that's a sample size. So that's my sample size N. How many cars would he expect? Huh, as soon as I see expect, I need to think the formula E equals N times P. And we want to find the, that he expects with neither a registration nor a warrant. So that's in terms of the probability. Let's talk about the probability of not having a registration and not having a warrant, which we know that that there already is 0 0.0161. So I need to just put both of those numbers, that probability and my sample size n, into the formula and go 500 times 0 0.0161 and that will give us a value of 8.05. Now I can't have 0 0.05 of a car, it has to be a whole number. So that means either it's going to be 8 or it's going to be 9 cars. Both if I work backwards, if I did 8 divided by 500 or 9 divided by 500, they would go, both give me a probability of around 0 0.0161. So it's going to be 8 or 9 cars. Let's have a look at the next question. Calculate the percentage of cars that are either registered or have a warrant of fitness. Okay, so some key words in there. So to make cars that are either registered or have a warrant. So there are two criteria. Okay, so one criteria is that they're registered, the other is that it has a warrant. So we are going to look at our different combinations and think which of those meet that either of those criteria. So the first one, registered warrant, that meets both of those criteria. So I do want to include that. The next one, registered with no warrant, well it meets the registration criteria, so we'll include that. The third option, no registration and warrant, well, it meets the criteria of having a warrant, so that's included. And the last one, no registration, no warrant, that doesn't meet either of those criteria, so I'm not going to include that. So I want the probability of a registration or a warrant, and so that's going to be the probability of RW plus the probability of RW dash plus the probability of R dash W. And I'm going to add those probabilities together, so 0 0.8835 plus 0 0.0465 plus 0 0.0539 and that will give us a probability of 0 0.9839. Okay, and there's the answer to that question. Now let's have a look at this one. This one's getting a little bit more interesting. So calculate the percentage of unregistered cars. Notice that wording. If I look at the word previous one, percentage of cars. So when I was talking about percentage of cars, it was talking about all of them. Now I'm just talking about of the unregistered cars. Okay, so I'm only interested in this section here. I'm only interested in that. I'm not at all interested in this top section. Okay, I'm not worried about whether they're registered, I'm only interested in the unregistered. And I want to know from those unregistered, what is the percentage that have no warrant of fitness? Okay, 
So let's think about this. This is a what we call a conditional probability. So I'm not looking at the probability of the whole group anymore. I'm just looking at a subgroup. And that subgroup is my unregistered cars. So I want to know the probability that there is no warrant given, so that straight up and down line means given, or conditional on, that it has no registration. So I'm dividing, the subgroup that I'm dividing by is the no registration. And 7% of cars have no registration. So I'm dividing by 0.07 because that's my unregistered car. Okay, then I want to know what's the probability that it doesn't have a warrant. Well, there's that probability there with no warrant and no rego from just that subgroup. So it's going to be 0 0.0161 divided by 0 0.07, which will give us a value of 0 0.23. And we want that as a percentage, so multiply that by 100, and it's going to give us 23%. Let's have a look at one more question now. Calculate the percentage of unwarranted cars. There's a little hint again. Percentage of the unwarranted cars that are not registered. Okay, so we want the probability. I know that it's unwarranted, so I know that it has no warrant. And I want to find the percentage that is not registered. So that's what I'm trying to find. What I want us to think about is where are the unwarranted cars, because we're only interested in the unwarranted cars. So in terms of my combinations, I've got one section here that is unwarranted, and I've got one section here that is unwarranted. So if I was to find the chance of being unwarranted, I would add those together, 0.0465 plus 0.0161 and that would give us a probability of 0 0.0626. So I know the chance that we that a car doesn't have a warrant overall from both cars that are registered and unregistered from all of those cars the chance of not having a warrant is 0 0.0626. Now I want to know from that total group just that section what's the chance that they are not registered. So now I want to do this probability divided by the total group. So that's going to become 0 0.0161 over 0 0.0626. So I'm dividing the probability of not registered and not warranted over the percentage, the probability of being unwarranted. And when I calculate that, that will give me a value of 0 0.2572. But I'd ask for a percentage, so I need to multiply that by 100. And that's going to give me 25.72%. Thanks very much for watching. Feel free to go and see my website for other resources and other videos.